Okay, for today's experiment, we have a high voltage power supply using a car ignition coil. Uh, signal source is a, uh, I think it's a 40-40 frequency divider providing, the, providing 250 hertz. And uh, what this pile is here is a bunch of microwave oven magnets with this insulator in the middle and a bunch of microwave oven magnets. And of course we've got ground on one side and 5 kilovolts, 5 kilovolts, <laughs> about 12 to 24 kilovolts off the car ignition transformer. The car ignition transformer is running off of about 18 volts. So it's uh, definitely more than 24 kilovolts on there. And let's watch what happens. Of course, what I'm trying to do is get the spark to spin around in a circle. Sorry about the delay, but the wire is falling down towards the electronics. I don't want to risk the park over. Let's try a higher frequency. Can't get enough power to arc it. Okay, here we are playing again with the uh, car ignition coil power supply. It's probably 24 to 30 kilovolts, something in that range. And uh, we've got a argon tube wired up. This is what some call a Rife tube. Running off of it. You can do different frequencies. Let's 
one kilohertz. There's two kilohertz. The lower the voltage, or the lower the frequency, the higher the voltage typically, and that's why it's brighter at lower voltages. For this, because this doesn't light up very bright. This is a big U-shaped tube. Well, it looks a lot brighter on the camera than it is in reality. I was once doing an experiment years ago where I had the uh, put your hand on it just the right frequency and it would do a spiral effect inside. But it's not even reacting to my hand at all. Anyways, that's a U-shaped argon tube. It's much more purple than what you see on the camera.